Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a new series on a new game. Well, not really a new game, but a new game to me called Dead State. So quite a few of you guys had actually recommended and asked me to play this. So thought I'd give it a whirl. It's in early access at the moment. And yeah, let's just get right into it by clicking new game. Okay, right, so let's make ourselves one with a penis. And let's just pick a face that doesn't look like a Mexican Heisenberg. Or machete. Um, right, okay, there we go, that's fairly neutral. Um, psh, yeah, fuck it, that'll do. That looks relatively similar to the, the head there, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to call our guy Pedro. I think. And uh, Pedro Smith. No, not Pedro Smith. Pedro... Pedro Johnson. That's fine. There we go. So we've got Pedro Johnson there. And... Character build. Uh, we might as well go into custom. Have a look there. And we can just adjust some stats. So I'll do these fairly... Fairly evenly to start with. Um, so we'll have the strength and the agility up at five each. I'm at four, and we want some survival skills. Survey or forager. I'm just going to kind of quickly skim through this, up the medical slightly. Um, right, paramedic, that's fine. Let's get some melee skills. Um, right, we'll use brawler because I'm a bit of a brawler on zombie games, I'm afraid. Um, Shit, is that all the... Right, okay, that's fine. Right, that'll do for now anyway. Hopefully we can actually level up, so... Let's just get right into it. Okay, right, there's our character with the perks. Magical times. Uh, this will finalise your character build. Yes, indeed. That's beware of saying that death is the opposite of life. The living being is only a species of the dead and a very rare species. Okay, so this is going to involve a lot of me actually reading the shit on the screen, so strap yourselves in. Um, this could get really fucking annoying. You'd count yourself lucky to have gotten onto the plane. There had been rumours of some kind of pandemic rapidly spreading across the world, and people had been starting to get nervous, flights were getting overbooked, delayed repeatedly, or outright cancelled. But you were in the air, buckled safely to your seat, enduring some light turbulence as you idly watched a newscast on the current world crisis. When you heard a commotion from the front. Okay, so I take it, I actually click. Okay, loud noises, you know, loud noises. Uh, someone had staggered onto the plane, you heard them struggling with their luggage and that wet hacking cough for most of the flight. After the cough stopped, something started to happen up front. You heard a flight attendant scream and utter chaos break out in the front. People jumped out of their seats to try to help, but it only seemed to cause the situation to get worse. There was screaming, yelling for help, and the distant sound of someone banging in the cockpit. Um, right, okay. Fucking mile high club for the win. Um, then the horrible feeling of your stomach dropping as the plane tilted downwards. Scattered thoughts that accompany a fear of death. An awful cacophony, is it, of metal and earth twisting around. Each other filled your ears and there was only darkness and fire. Right, okay. Basically the forest then, just without the uh, the sex in the cockpit. Right, welcome to Dead State. Right, okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to actually do that. Hello, is anyone alive in there? This is Sheriff Reinhardt of Splendid PD. If you can hear me, follow my voice. Right, let's just take a quick look through... No, sorry, right, I've got to reply by pressing 1. You think the voice is coming from near... Tail of the wreck? Okay, that's fine. The other passengers don't look friendly, or they look like they shouldn't even be alive. Looks like you'll need a weapon. Right, okay, that's fine. Dismiss. So, I take it we can actually just rotate this. Zoom out of it. Okay, right, so... shitload of zombies and some weird 1970s music in the background. We're trying to put the fire out to get to you. Keep following my voice. Yeah, no problem. Look for something to defend yourself with, and whatever you do, stay away from the other passengers. 
Okay, look around for a weapon. So, uh, take it, it's going to be in this. Right, obviously, you have a baseball bat in a suitcase, but yeah, there we go. Right, so let's press I and equip that to weapon slot one. Okay. Alright, so the tail of the plane's this way. Okay, that burnt man doesn't look like a sheriff, so let's fucking deck this this bastard. Can you still hear me? If you have to defend yourself, hit them before they grab you. Whatever you do, don't let them bite you. Alright, get closer to the voice, that's fine. So let's fucking KO this bitch. Or man, rather. Right, okay, so this is just an explanation of the, I think, AP action points, which you need, obviously, to, like, move around and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see on the bottom there, that was all I had in that combat thing. But hopefully we'll get a lot more into that later, because this is just a bit of a tutorial kind of thing uh, for me, obviously. And, uh, yeah, should be fine. So I'll just dismiss that. And just see if this burnt guy's got anything on him. All right, nothing on him. Um, which way do we go? Let's try going this way. We've put the fire out down here. We've got the fire out down here, rather. Put the fires out of control back there. It's going to explode. Run! Okay, I'm almost there. So, let's actually run towards him. I think this is him, anyway. You found help, you need to get out of there. Uh, yeah, right, okay, that's fine, I've run. So let's just speak to... Hey, you okay? Hey, stay with me. Vic, help me carry. The voices fade and you pass out from your wounds. Right, okay. So, pretty eventful day, you know. Witnessed uh, the sounds of sex coming from the cockpit, crashed a plane, and, uh, yeah, you know, managed to escape a burning wreck, killing the zombie, and leaving with a friendly sheriff who thinks he's Rick Grimes. You wake up from the sound of people arguing, your body is stiff, and you can smell the unmistakable scent of rubbing alcohol. You feel like you've been sleeping off a horrible fever. Alright, okay. The last thing you remember is the plane going down. I actually remember running to the sheriff, but that's fine. Anita, food. Who cares about food when we've got a huge hole in the fence? If we don't fix it, then they're going to walk right in here. I know, Mom, but what's going... But who's going to risk going out there. You, me, Joel. Sorry that there's no, like, massive character acting here, but, you know, you guys can read. I suppose you should be the one to go, being the cop and all. Kind of be nice if someone was watching my back. I take it that'll be me once I come to. Not me, Rene, that's for damn sure. Alright, okay. Let's not panic yet, alright. So, obviously I've got a choice of what dialogue to actually say here, so let's go with the aggressive. Who the fuck are you people? Where am I? Hey, no reason for that kind of language. Oh, you're up. Obviously, fucking hell. Not the brightest tool in the box. He's up. Right. Easy. I realise you have no idea where you are right now, but you're safe. You're in the basement of a school. Fucking Professor X. Fucking Xavier from the X-Men. Uh, dickhead cop thinks he's Cyclops, and then the woman looks a bit like Wolverine, because, you know, she's one of the bearded ladies. Right. I'm Davis. This is Anita. You should thank your lucky stars that my daughter was here. Right, mum. That's Renee, Anita's daughter. Uh, hi, good to see you up finally. Right, okay, I take it she's the doctor by the little lab coat thing there. If I was to get my fucking Cluedo brain on. Behind her it's Elaine, she's still recovering. Right, okay. Um, and that's Joel. That's me, I'm Joel, Officer Joel. I guess technically I'll be Officer Oswalt, but you can call me Joel. Heck, any of those will do. So maybe it's Oswald, Oswald off Spider-Man, Xavier from X-Men, and we've got some kind of Marvel reunion going on here. You never know. Um, okay, nice to meet you all. Someone tell me what's happening. Do you remember the plane crash? Uh, yes, I wish I'd never gotten on that flight. I'm sorry, there are only a few survivors between the wreckage and the well. It was amazing that we were able to find anyone alive out there. Um... Right, let's say, can someone please tell me what the hell I'm doing here? You're in Texas, central Texas, a town called Splendid. We're in the basement of a local school. Uh, right, let's go with I guess I'm home, kind of. 
Welcome home, I guess. You should know you're pretty much stuck here. We all are, but don't worry. We have food, facilities, a generator, and it's secure. Secure? What does that mean? I don't think you understand. Outside, it's not safe anymore. Everything's changed. On the last flight before they grounded the planes, they were trying to control the spread of a pandemic. Didn't work. Martial law was declared. Shelters were opened. People were evacuated. Those that stayed behind, like me and the whole splendid police department, all three of us. We were just trying to get the last few people out of the area when your plane went down. Most of them were already another dot 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 <laughs> mysterious bastard. Uh, you see the real danger out there. Right now is there are things out there. Now's not the time. I agree. Well, it's obviously the time, you dickheads. Fucking hell. Look, this is a lot to take in. Why don't you come talk with me when you're ready? Take your time. Okay. So, what have we got? Oh, survivor's bag. Let's take a little look in here. Could just rob all the shit and just leave. <laughs> like, just chance it on my own. Let's grab a knife. And, uh, what's that? A toothbrush. Some parts. Some peanut butter. Some chips. A can of soup. Pork rinds. Pipe wrench. I'll take that as well. Fuck it. Just take some weapons just in case these are uh, pretty sketchy folk, even though they have just saved me. Right, let's go and talk to them again. I think you're up to talking about our situation now. Right, let's get this over with. Good, I'll get the others. Davis, emotions to Anita. What I'm about to tell you, it's going to be difficult to believe. In fact, it's hard to accept when you've even seen it with your own eyes. Okay, I'll say. Uh, I don't know if anything could shock me anymore, we'll go with that. Let me explain. The illness was going around, it doesn't kill or make people lose their mind. It might not even be a virus. It's the end of the world. Mum, we don't know that. Right, just get to the point. The dead are coming back to life, not all of them. But people that are bit or killed by them. They seek out and attack the living. From what we know, it's not just here, it's everywhere, all over the world. Right, I'm done here, fuck this, give me the key, I'm out of here. There's nowhere to go around here, I mean, the only secure place in town right now is this basement. That's what I wanted to discuss. Fine, let's hear it. I don't know how long we're going to be here for, and the basement isn't really a long-term solution. We've got enough food to last us another week or so. We're going to need to secure the entire school. Right, what do we need to make this happen? The fence around the school was being refinished when the town was evacuated. Uh, this whole section's missing, which... I've seen what's out there, we're not safe. If those things find out we're inside, if we want to move into the school upstairs, we're going to have to finish that fence. It's not completely down. With this proper supplies, we could fix it in a day. Can't even fucking speak anymore. Can't get very far, we drain the fuel in the cars to power the generator. It's a hardware store over in Lano, I think that's how you say it. Apologies if that's wrong. It's a bit of a walk, but it'd be our best bet. Right, so I think what's going to happen here is, obviously there's going to be quite a bit of talking for the first bit. So, I do apologise, it's just a shitload of me kind of monotone, reading out the kind of mindless dialogue. But uh, I think, obviously, the action and kind of exploration, getting supplies and bringing it back, should happen relatively soon. I'm going to want to bring back a toolbox with as many spare parts as you can. Getting that fence up is our only option. Right, so, obviously looking to fortify this. And probably got a bit of a supply run somewhere as well. There's a lot to ask, especially when you're given, yeah, especially given all you've been through. We really don't have a choice. Right, I can do that. It's fine. Do I feel better about this if there's a third person? I still remember the last time we went outside of Splendid. I'm going to need someone to stay here and help me secure the windows and doors upstairs, but I can't volunteer anyone else. Don't think about taking my Renee. That's the only way. And then go blah blah blah. Mum, please, could take care of herself. Right, some sibling shit going on there, or parental shit, whatever. Right. Okay, so I get to pick out of a doctor, and the mum was obviously a bruiser, so... Right, we'll take the medic, I think. Right, so she's going to hold us personally responsible. Okay, it's decided. You three go to the hardware store, get a toolbox and all the parts you can carry. Secure the school's first floor while you're gone. Right, understood. Let's go. Right, okay, so we're now just like maneuvering around. Can check everywhere. So let's take a little look through here. Oh shit. 
Yeah, the camera works a bit odd, to be honest. Like, it's a bit. It reminds me of kind of the Sims, like one and Sims two, really. Um, it's like really sudden the way it moves. So, right, I don't actually know what I need to do. So, All right, let's just read this. Right, okay, that's fine. So, I've got a few weapons, stuff like that. Candles, pillow. I wonder if you can use the pillow as a pillow silencer, that'd be pretty cool. Um, right, medical satchel, etc. Right, let's just take a little look through. I don't think there's actually anything through any of these. Let's, right, let's head up to the first floor. Okay, what have we got through here? Right, okay, so we can store stuff. This is like the communal shelter storage. Uh, place names in the shelter for later use. Right, okay, that's pretty cool. Right, okay, so it's basically just saying that it, the game doesn't actually use food to restore your health, which is pretty good. Uh, but obviously we still need food for the amount of survivors, and we've got a decent amount of medical stuff as well. Right, so right, let's just go and have a quick look around. So this is going to be my new home for the next few weeks, anyway. Uh, let's just speak to this police officer guy. Are you feeling okay? Right, try not to think about it. Where to go, Joel? Sorry, I brought it up. Not a problem. Right, a few questions. So let's ask him what his specialities are. Kind of needs to be a cough, talking about the basics of being a, of subduing a lawbreaker and shooting someone if I have to. Not that I'd ever have to do any of those things, let's see. Right, okay, that's fine. So... Right, you never, where they never shot your weapon, would you be willing to part with it? Right, so he's not going to part with his gun. It's worth a try, you know. So, let's just have another quick look around. And uh, probably what I'm going to do is actually speak to all these guys. And then next time, head towards the the actual mission itself and uh, go on the loot run. So the next part should be a lot of action. This was kind of just obviously the scene setter and all the bullshit that goes in between. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, pretty strange, and pretty different compared to what I'm actually used to. But you know, uh, difference is good a good thing, I suppose. You know, uh, played a lot of similar survival games, and this is certainly certainly very different. Whether it's good or not, I'll have to wait and see. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one.